Let's start this episode off with a huge shout out to this week's badass boss babe, Tiffany Teal. You can find her on Instagram at Tiffany Teal, T-I-F-F-A-N-I-E-T-E-E-L. I met Tiffany at a personal development event that my mindset coach was hosting gosh, a little while back. And she connected with me instantly on Instagram after the event. And since then, we have swapped business advice. And I'm super, super excited to announce that she is going to be a guest speaker in the Build a Blissful Business online course that is literally going to be out next week. So I'm super, super excited. And I just wanted to give you a shout out, Tiffany, um, because you are one badass boss, babe. And I just wanted to let you know that I appreciate you so, so much. And I I cannot wait to see where your journey leads in all of this. So cheers, babe. You got this. Welcome back, my friends, to the Badass is the New Black podcast. I'm your host, Chrissy Chin. Here on the podcast, I help you stand out online in this noisy, noisy world. And you guys, it's getting noisier by the minute. So now is more important than ever to stand out. I'm also here to help you market your product or service in a sexy, non-sleazy, salesy kind of way. And then, of course, my favorite thing to teach here is automation because my motto is work less and enjoy more and automation really helps you do that. So today is really just an impromptu, uh, I didn't really have any notes written down. I just had this thought that I really wanted to talk about relationships, networks, and just surrounding yourself with like-minded people. Um, you know, with everything going on, if you're listening to, listening to this in real time when this is launched, we are all in quarantine. We are all, you know, kind of hunkered down in our homes, surrounded by maybe yourself if you're alone or maybe your family. Um, and so the best way that we can connect right now is through using the internet um, and connecting with people. But I just wanted to kind of reflect back and even, you know, giving a shout out to Tiffany and how we met. We met at an in-person event um, and just meeting people in all different places and the relationships that you build with people and how it can take your business to the next level. Really everything that or I guess a lot of people that reach success in their business, they can really track it back to the people that they know and the people that they've met along the way. So when I started before business, I would not say that I was savvy in networking and savvy in building relationships. I actually feel like I was kind of bad. And I've talked about this before, um, that I wasn't one of those people that had, you know, in high school, this tight group of like, eight girls or even in middle school. And then we stayed friends in high school and we stayed friends in college. It was kind of like I had friends in every season of my life and I wasn't great at keeping up the relationships. And it takes a lot of work and it takes work from both parties. And that was not something that I would say was one of my strengths. However, when I got into um, entrepreneurship and I started as an in-network marketing, um, it's something that I just, through different trainings and hearing different people, it just kind of clicked with me that relationships are really the key to success. And you may not know a lot of people now, but what are you doing right now to make sure that you meet people um, and build relationships with those people and leverage the network um, that you create along the way to get you to the next level? And I hope that you're not someone that looks at someone else and you say, oh, well, they knew so-and-so. And so that's how they got the job. Or they knew the president and so that's how they you know, got whatever. Or they knew this person or their parents were this person. Like, I hope I don't hear you say that because the reality is, is yes, we leverage the people that we know but unless you were born into that situation where it's like their parent is X, Y, Z, then that person had to make a connection and build that relationship with that person at some point in their life. So cheers and kudos to them for A, building the meeting that person and then B, building that relationship and then C, having the smarts to leverage that relationship to get them one step further. A lot of the relationships that I've created, I a, 
add value to them. So I bring as much to the table as I possibly can. And then B, I ask a lot of questions to them as well so that I can learn from them. So it's kind of like this flip-flop swap of valuable information. Um, and just showing people love and appreciation is one amazing way to build a relationship with someone. Uh, no one likes to be the person who's taken advantage of. So if you find yourself meeting someone who's really fascinating and you have a ton to learn from them, um, you know, and you just suck them dry of information, like they're going to be exhausted by you and they're probably not going to want to invest much in the relationship. But if you show your appreciation, if you offer value where you can, um, then they will be so much more likely to help you out when you need a little step, right? So I'm trying to think of some of the relationships just the other day, uh, one, a friend of mine and someone who I've kind of been helping build their audience on Instagram and his name is Jarrett. He's an amazing bartender at 12 cocktail bar downtown that we are members at and we always go to. And he posted that he was featured in Forbes. And I sent him a message I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I was, I might've been more excited than he was. I don't, I mean, I think he was pretty excited, but I just reached out. I was like, this is so fantastic. And I've been wanting to get published in more things. And so of course I said to him, I said, how did you get in Forbes? Like, please share your knowledge with me. Um, and he just said, oh, I met this girl who writes, um, she's a blogger about when she writes about cocktails. And so I've connected with her and we've built this relationship. And so she wanted to feature me in this piece that she was writing. And right there, I was like, oh my gosh, I was like relationships. And I, it didn't even make me mad that I was like, you have to know somebody, <laughs> you know, I was like, I will meet that person that will get me into Forbes one day. I just know it or, you know, any other, you know, piece that, that is valuable to me. Um, but it just kind of brought that to light that it really is all about relationships and networking and meeting people and um, getting that step ahead. A few other people that I know that have been in Forbes, they too, you know, knew somebody um, who kind of saw their work and just really wanted to put it in there. Um, and then just surrounding yourself with like-minded people is the best way to start building a network around you that will take you where you want to go. Um, I've done this through joining masterminds. I've done this by participating in Facebook groups that I'm a part of. Um, I've done this connecting with people on platforms that I use. So you guys all know, if you've been listening to the podcast, that I use Kajabi and um, to host my website, to host my CRM system, my landing pages, all of that. Like that's all, that's what I use. And they have a user uh, Facebook group. Okay. And I participate in that Facebook group. I, it's not every day, certainly not every day, but I will comment on people's posts who are asking questions. I will also ask questions in there. And that's kind of how I get to know people as well. Um, I have posted my huge win in there when we hit a million in sales. Um, I did a post in there and just an encouraging post, not a look at me, but a but uh, look what happened. I started as a nurse and here we are, you know, two girls, me and my youngest sister, and we built this business. And if we can do it, you guys can do it too. Just keep at it, keep working. So it was just an inspirational post. And from that post, um, there were multiple people that reached out and just wanted some tips on what I had done. And so I've connected. Ryan is one of them who reached out and was like, hey, can I pick your brain? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. You can pick my brain. And I'm like, I looked at his Instagram. He had over 300,000 followers on Instagram. And I was like, holy cow, like this guy wants to talk to me. Like he's way more savvy than I am clearly. And so I was like nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, what, like literally what am I going to have to share with him? Um, but he called me and it was just asking questions and I just shared my knowledge of what I had to offer. And it was so valuable for him. And so we continued to connect over time and I would just check in, you know, how's business going? How's your subscription site going? Um, how is everything? How's the family? And I had a baby girl and I would comment on that. And so we just started building this relationship and, um, 
he start, he launched a mastermind and he contacted me and asked me if I wanted to be a part of it. And of course I jumped at the opportunity. So I was in that mastermind and then that mastermind led to him inviting everyone in the mastermind to speak on stage. So that was my first at the hero event that you guys have, um, seen that happened in March. Um, and so that led me to speak on stage. Who knew that me just saying, hey, yeah, I would love to hop on a call and, and help you where I can would lead to me having my first experience on stage in front of 300 people. And I think that's the message that I want to leave with you is that you don't know where the next person that comes into your space, you don't know where they are going to lead you. But if you offer a value and you help people and serve people in the best way that you know how, um, and just continue to love and nurture the relationships that make sense for you and feel good to you, that they will lead to better things. Let's take a tiny little break from this badass podcast to talk about Kajabi, or as my husband calls it, Punjabi. Babe, it starts with a K. K A J A B I. This is the platform that literally makes all the magic happen. It's plug and play, no coding necessary. And guess what, you guys? The best thing about it is that you get your very own mobile app with it. I looked into building an app and it was going to be over $100,000. You get your own right there. The platform is so affordable too. So instead of paying for individual platforms like your CRM system, which is going to host your email, your landing pages, which is going to capture your email, your website, which is going to be where all the magic happens, a community space, it's literally all in one. So it doesn't matter if you want to host courses, educational classes, have libraries in there for your team. This is absolutely the way to go. And I have a month free for you to check it out. So hop over to my website, thechrissychin.com forward slash Kajabi, K-A-J-A-B-I. And you can check out a month for free. I cannot wait to see what you create. Please do me a favor. Send me a DM, send me an email once you've created something so I can see it and check it out. Can't wait for you to get started and scale your business like a badass boss. All right, let's get back to the podcast. Another place that I have met a ton of amazing people is in a mastermind um, that I paid to be in. And it's a bunch of young um, female entrepreneurs and just being, going to the live event and then joining that mastermind, I have set, met so many amazing girls and they're all, well, they're, they teach different things. Maybe they're a coach, maybe they're a designer, um, maybe they're a copywriter. They have different skills and they have different businesses, but we all have this collective um, thing where we're doing the, the same thing. We're trying to build our own business. We're trying to find clients um, that really want what we have to offer. And so just being in that space with all of them, we had a two hour call uh, yesterday and it's so refreshing to just be back in that space and even hearing some of the challenges. Um, it's like, oh girl, I was there, you know, and then can offer some tips and advice or, oh, I'm there right now, right? I'm struggling with that right now. Um, um, can't wait to hear the advice that you're given from our coach Sabrina or from the other people in the mastermind. And so it's just really comforting to be with like-minded people that will lift you up, that are, are there helping you find a solution um, to a problem. And so not just finding this group and community that's just going to sit there and complain and has nothing to offer, but finding like-minded people that are positive and um, are problem solvers and will help you work through things um, when you need. That is super, super important. Um, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I just wanted to drop that with you today on this Friday that use this time while you're at home, just building more relationships. And you can absolutely do that online. That Ryan, uh, that was all online by, you know, finding the post in the Facebook group and him commenting and reaching out. And we talked to each other on the phone. Like we didn't meet in person until March. So, so many of these relationships can be built virtually. And so I just want to encourage you to do that. 
All right. I've got some really great things coming up for you. If you're listening to this in real time, you've got the Concept to Cash Masterclass. This is a free masterclass that I am putting on April 7th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone. Uh, it's going to be the four steps to building a profitable business online that you love. So that is happening. Just go to my homepage um, on the website, the Chrissy Chin, and you will see the countdown. You'll see where to register for that free masterclass. Bring your friends. It's going to be a party. It's going to be fun. And then also what's happening next week is build a blissful business online course is officially launching. You guys have been waiting for um, a little bit now. You've been getting super, super excited. Um, and this is going to rock your business. If you are feeling like you're having a hard time finding people, you don't know where to find people. Uh, you feel like everyone else is selling the same thing and you're not really sure how to stand out. And now more than ever, you need your business to succeed because of what is going on around you. This is going to be the course that you want to jump in on. Um, I've got some really special things for those on the wait list. So hop over to the website, click on work with me, then on courses, and then um, you'll be able to join the wait list there. If you're listening in real time, that will be available for you. And then Friday this launches. So then early next week, you will get an email with a really, really, really juicy special offer that you are not going to want to pass up because I'm not going to offer it anywhere else but to the wait list. Um, so hop over there, join that. Until next week, just take a look at the relationships in your life or, um, or the relationships in your business and think about how you can expand on those relationships, how you can nurture those relationships and how you can serve others um, so that they will serve you right back. That's it. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.